How are you guys? Um, I uh, ate too much pizza last night, drank a little too much wine, and therefore I thought uh, today would be a great day to create a ab workout, core workout, um, everything that has to do with basically from the chest to your hip is what we're going to try and hit. Actually, you'll even get a little lower than that. You'll get um, a little bit of glute if you hold the moves right. If you hear jingling, that is a friend Scarlett here. I'm sure she'll appear in the video. Yes, here she comes. Um, all right, what we're going to do is it will it will be 18 minutes and done. Sounds like forever, but it's not because each exercise is one minute, okay? The only thing that you'll need for this is some leverage to hold on to overhead. I'm going to make use of my basketball hoop there because it's pretty solid. I could use the bottom of the couch. That works great. Um, if you also look over my shoulder, I have a little blue ottoman. Um, that's going to be something we'll use. You just need leverage for your feet with that. So I put it by my couch. Uh, I don't have the best leverage there, but it's the best I got downstairs here. So, all right, um, we're going to get started. Um, I have some tunes on just so we have a little motivation in the back. Scarlet, really, you're killing me. Um, all right, every exercise is a minute, and we got 10 seconds to transition. The first exercise that we have is just going to be a hover with an alternating knee tap. So what I want you to do is you're going to set up elbows directly under the shoulder if you can. Start on your knees or you can start on your toes. Make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. Engage your sketch just a little bit by squeezing the shoulder blades. And think about pulling the back of the head. Are you ready? Set. We're up. Okay. So all I want you to do is a light knee tap. Just light, light tap. Keep your hips as steady and still. This really gets the ability for you to see, are you in the right height for your hover? Now, if you can push your arms down a little bit harder, if you can extend the leg back and really squeeze the quad, get a little quad contraction and squeeze that glute. It's not how fast you go, it's how well you stay stable, stay steady, so we're just going. So if you wanna go faster than me, great. I'm worried about making sure that my Tailbone is utterly still, not moving at all. Pull the back of your head towards the ceiling just a little. Make sure those shoulders aren't rising up. Good. Pushing that heel back. Stay strong. You only got five seconds. Great exercise number one, right? And time. All right, we got 10 seconds. We're setting up for that uplift. This is where we want to have leverage. Drop the shoulders down. I'm going to lift as high as I can. Scooping the belly and then dropping down once my tailbone hits. I take the legs up. We're on. Scoop the belly. So knees come in. Lift as high as you can. Really think of a scoop, scoop of the belly. Lift. If this is too much, you're just going to take the knees over the hips. Lift a little bit or not at all and make sure the back stays down as you bring this up. Extend. Go as low as you can, making sure back is never lifting. Uh, starts to set in after a little bit. How high can you lift? Uh, it's not about how low you can go. It's about that up, up, up lift. Reach out. Feel like your toes can reach the other side of the room. So this was the one I said is as close to the leg throws as you can get. You got somebody to throw the leg throws. You can always have that option here instead of the uplift. Time. All right. We're going to go into a plank, single knee wrap. So hands can be about under the shoulders. Take your right knee, and all you're going to do is hold it and pulse it. Or it could be your left. That's fine. doesn't matter if you started with that. All you're doing is making sure that your hips and shoulders are squared. And I'm trying to get that knee to touch towards my elbow or my tricep. Keep it off the ground. The option can be to have the other knee, if you need, come to the ground, and you just stay with that. So this is great for the obliques. Ah. There's lateral flexors to the body, intercostals. Keep pulsing. We are 23, my favorite number away from being done. Laura Katz, you out there, girl? You doing this with me, girl? You're responding, aren't you? I love it. <laughs> Come on, come on. Can you squeeze the quad on the leg a little bit more? Lucky number seven left. Can you go a little further? Are you getting a better range? Three, 
two, one. Back to the up left. Let's do it again. See if it can burn a little bit better the second time around. Going in three, two, one. Lift. Oh. Fight the drop. Yeah. Knees come over and lift up. Really reach out. Really reach out. Oh. How are you doing? Scoop. Lift. Reach. Woohoo. All right, guys. Every single lift. Fight. Not letting that tailbone drop. Get up. Now be sure you are not lifting your head. No need to. You see me doing that. Let's just look at the camera. Look at the time. We got that 23 left. Rookie number today. Remember your option. It could be here. Go for that drop. If that tail isn't able to lift up. Keep it coming. Come on. Jackie, this would be like her ab day, girl. After a good Monday sprint, right? And time. Whew. All right. We have to go to that knee wrap on the other side. Going in three, two, one. We're wrapping. Ooh. Come on, baby. I've been doing a lot of flow. You would think my flexibility would be a lot better here. Yeah. Must be the pizza from last night. All right, shoulders stay away from the ears. Shoulders to hips level. Try and get that knee. Can you get it? I bet you, Mary B, you can get that elbow to touch every single time, or that knee to touch above that elbow. Uh, contract that leg on the ground. Really push that toe down. Good. Keep pulse. Come on, keep driving. Keep coming. How you doing? Feeling a little bit? So why this whole plank? Like a three-legged plank, but with a little pulse, a little more oblique action here. Hopefully you did my five-minute plank challenge sometime last week. That was challenging. Hopefully today we'll meet that. Three, two, all right. Guess what? Last time on the uplift. Last time we'll see you today. Let's go. Woo! Get that three, two, one. Three lift. Lower. Scoop belly. Sorry, I did just there. Ooh. As soon as that tailbone hits, you gotta get back up. Oh no. Say woo, woo. Good. Come on. Up. Reach it out. Lift. That's all I'm working out in your socks. That's the best part. Ooh. Stay with it. That's some 30. Uh. Come on. Come on. Hang in there. We do this in less than 15 seconds. Ooh. Get up. Scoop. Scoop. Three seconds. Two. Time. Good job. All right, next one. The X hover. Knees or toes. You're going to reach out. Go. Reach. Reset. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, drag the foot and the hand back in. Put some pressure down. All right. So we want to reach. Shoulders are dropped away from the ears. Reach that out. Drag. Reach. Drag, you should have some lines on your carpet. You get any lines? Urgh. Hips should not drop at all. Hips should not twist. Think of the shoulders and the hips staying level. You got it? Reach. Good. Scarlet. Really? Come on, girl. Join me. Reach. This is Nittany's sister you see going by. She's the good one. The party girl, unfortunately, never came home. Uh, almost there, guys. Reach out long. Can you reach out longer? Drag. Can we get this? Should feel those obliques. Still kick it in. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Our next one. Just slip on to your back. What I want you to do, when the knee comes in, you're going to think of a hammer to a nail. Here. So it's like a cross crawl. But I want you to really reach beyond the bend in the knee. 
be on the quad, a lot of oblique. Once you got the move, you can pick up the pace a little bit. Let's see about how much you get the shoulders rotating up and up with the ground as the leg reaches. You always have the option to tap. So reach for the hands. That goes out alone. Oh, this is how we do some oblique work. Think of that washcloth. Bring it out through the middle. Ah, come on. You can make a pretzel twist. Right? That's how I'm feeling today. <laughs> Keep going. And did you laugh at that one? Oh, come on, get up. Get up, get up. Three, two, release. Good. Okay. Plank shoulder tap with knee. All right. This is just a little bit more balance. Okay. Cross. Let's go. Timer on. Ugh. So right hand touches, left knee comes. Right hand touches. I did this in one of my other YouTube exercises. Did it again because I like it. It's a great waistline work. Shoulder stability with it. Now, uh, you should feel it through the side of the body, through the obliques. Can you get that knee to where that palm was? That's how far I want you to drive it forward. Once you got it, we're at the halfway. Can you pick up the pace? Woo! Can't. Think of that hip twisting. The hip can twist. You gotta touch that shoulder. Contact. Come on. Uh, twist. Whew. Good gracious. You got this in time. How are we doing? Keep the body long. Fill up the butt lift. Come on. Okay, time. Okay. We're going back onto our back. Scissors. Well, I went with this one like one leg up. Let's go. One leg down. One leg up. So the back is going to press down. Pull everything in. Like wax on, wax off, wax on. Now, if you can throw it a little harder, there's your leg throw again, like a single leg. Catch it on the down. Shoulders press back. How you doing? One, two, one, two. Press that back down. Come on, come on. Stay on it. Stay on it. Woo -hoo. Good, good. Come on, come on. Pull in. You feel that back lifting. Your option, you can come up and just hold a little crunch. Shoulder blades off. Think of the rib cage pushing down. So you feel like you're not holding it as well to really pull everything down. Come on, strong leg throws. I was here first. Throw your leg down. Leg down. What would that feel like? All right. Good job. Okay. What I have here. Woo. Oh. On one elbow, side on. Lift this leg. Drop the hip, lift up. Drop the hip, lift up. Drop the hip, lift up. Now the option, you don't have to have this leg down or up. You can have it down. You can do this with the knee bent. Drop that hip. Just make sure your body in one straight alignment. Hips are stacked. Shoulders are stacked. Lift that hip. I want you to think like a jack under your hip. Lift it up as high as you can. Ah. You can even really push that bottom arm down. So the arm in the ground. Good. Just try and keep that top leg up about level with your hip. Ankle heel up. Don't turn it into the quads. Might as well get some hip work while we're here. Yep. Uh, come on. Come on. Lift. Come on. We need the waistline shape for today, right? Drop the hip. Big lift. Big lift. Drive it up, make it explosive like a volcano. Time. All right, here we go. We're going to go in the back. I know you guys have seen this one before, but some of you just need some hip opening. I want you to keep a crunch up if you can. Circle the legs. Should I hear you making popcorn for your hips? Maybe you need a little more work on the flexibility. All right, got a little tight today myself. And scoop. And every time you're coming up, feel like there's like, oh, maybe there is a little toddler on your legs, right? Lift them and catapult them over your head. 
Good. You can keep the head down if it's bothering you. Through the neck. Keep that back pressed down. It's the back of the ribs making that giant imprint. You got 23 seconds. There's a magic of 23. Chest lifts. Come on, come on. How are we doing? Work at 10 seconds to go. Bigger circles if you can. Stay on it. Three, two, time. Let's go. We got a hip drop on the other side. Other leg up. We doing okay? We doing all right. Work that leg. Drop the hip. Left. Drop the hip. Left. Elbow should be stacked under that shoulder. Top leg up. Remember the leg is an option. We just stack it on top. You can bend that knee. It's got to be a big drive up though. On the underside of the hip. Top hip stacked. Right? Mm. Breathe out. Every time you go up, breathe out. Drop and lift. Drop and drive. Drop and explode. I feel like I'm touching this ceiling. I know I'm barely getting off the ground, but it's okay. It should challenge us. Ah. We're doing it again. I'm going to put that leg down for a rep or two and try and get back to it. Whew. Come on, come on. We got this. Come on, three seconds. One more, one more. Good. All right. I'm going to go over to my make pseudo Roman chair. Okay, it's how this works. So you know, your piece of equipment, tuck your toes into something, a little leverage. Extend back. One shot. Extend. Now I'm going to add a little twist to it. Okay, a little twist to it, a little twist. So brace the core as you're going back, twist. Think through the rib as you do this, instead of so much at the hip. So extending chest towards the ceiling, and then we extend, twist. Think of that chest driving down towards the outside of your hip. Extend back. No jumping, but twisting. Less than 20. Ugh. This is like the one I used to always do at the Y. Uh. 10 seconds. Extend. Brace that core as you go back. One more. One more. You keep that core brace for three seconds. Two. One. Oh, time. Have to that one. You can do that one more if you wanted to. Okay. Okay. On the hover. Straight on. Okay, on one, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. What that look like? Hip drop, hip drop. So today's focus was really right around that waistline for some core work, abs work, the abs. How we drop? Uh, can we get down right before the carbon fibers? Ooh, it's like uh, better than a seesaw, right? Uh, so you can probably put your kids on your glutes and then boom, throw them down. Boom, throw them down, right? <laughs> That'd be a workout. Twisting. Almost there, guys. Almost there. How about the last five? Uh, release. All right, you're down. Let's just do something for the back. Toes down, kneecaps off. Thumbs up, shoulder blades back and down. Engage the glutes. Come on up. Love the lat pull down. Love the lat pull down. Work in the back. Back half of the body. The ball crunch work. You can have some work on the back here. Uh, uh, everybody, keep coming. You're almost there. Come on. Damn it. 23 seconds. There's that number. Think the elbows wide, pulling down to the glutes. Toes pushing down. Hips pushing down. Opening up the chest. 
shoulders dropping down the back. Only 10 seconds. I can look straight down to the ground. I'll let you know when we're there. Five, four, three, two. All right. Great job. Now, I promised you less than 20. If you would like to stick around, okay? I'm going to go for that just five-minute little challenge. Okay, it's a five-minute challenge. Talked about, have you done the challenge earlier? Try this for the challenge, okay? So it's going to be five minutes, but that one's great. You can stop right there, okay? Less than 20 minutes, pour in. Hopefully you feel good with it. All right, just looking for you to not come out of this for five minutes. We'll talk about some of the options that we can do, okay? First one, we can have both hands down, or we can go with a one-arm plank, okay? You can do the one-arm plank on the elbow as well. We're just going to try and get through five minutes. Sweat working. Are you ready? Here's all I need you to do. Put your right hand down. Get set. Go. We're here. So, like I said, this could be the elbow. We want to stay squared. You have the hand by the side of the body, hand on the hip. Doesn't matter. Try and ensure that that shoulder is over that palm. Shoulders dropped away. And you're always thinking of turning the side that is lifted more than you think. Okay? So, you want to stay squared. I'm always almost like you're right before that point of dropping. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Bracing. Squeeze the quads. Right now, you probably don't see my feet, but I have them a little bit wider than hip distance. So it's just a little bit. Arm shaking, depending on what you've been doing this week. Shoulders stay away from the ears. I reach down that leg. Eyes stay forward. Breathe, brace. Is your arm shaking? Is your core shaking? 10 seconds. Come on, stay with it. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Don't come down off of anything. Put the other hand down. Here we go. We're on the other side. All right, we stay squared. We stay squared. Okay. This will be your first two minutes, right? So hips are squared. The side that you can't see, you're looking about pushing it down. Ensure that shoulder, shoulder joint over the palm. It's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Then I'd rather you come down to the hands. Don't come down to the toes if you don't have to, okay? So you can put that hand down to reset if you need it. It's always a great option. If you're like on the toes, no way, no how, this would be a great option. Go into that bird dog. Love that position. All right. But for now, we're holding here. Should be shaking. You only got 15 seconds. Got it. Stay squared. Ugh, shoulder weight from near 10. You do anything 10 seconds, you're not gonna fall. You're gonna make this five, four, three, two. All right, come down to that first arm, but we're just gonna do a little pulsing hip lift. All right, we haven't dropped. That hip doesn't hit the floor. If you wanted the ultimate challenge, you could do this on the palm, okay? So, some days, super motivated. Some days, not as much. I'm gonna go with this one, all right? If you wanna be on that hand, go to it. But come on, lift that hip, hip stacked. Just lift, think of that rib to hip pinch. Drop the shoulders away. Breathe, lift. Doing great guys. We are more than halfway. We're more than halfway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Come on, lift it, lift it, squeeze it. You got this five. Feeling good. Three, two. We're going on to the other side. On the other side. I'm going to walk myself so you don't have to see my back. I'm not going to let that hip go down. We're here. All right. You can have the feet stacked. Sure. Sure. Keep that body in that one long line. Feel that underside. Can you think? of the rib and the hip lifting together. That brings them closer. Tammy has text to me. Probably a picture or something completely inappropriate. Love her. Come on, come on. Come on, shoulders stay away from the ears. Woo! How I going? We going okay? And we're on this left elbow, right? Maybe it's not your left. Just know what it is. This is the arm that's going to go in the air. You're going to come back. 
in the plank. Look. Said that arm's gonna go in the air. Can you hold this? Can you hold this? Okay. You're like, no way. Then I want both arms down and you keep this leg off. We're not gonna go for a full minute here. I said only five minutes and I'm gonna keep you all day. Go do something with your family, right? I know, like you haven't done a lot of that. Try and stay squared. Shoulder over the palm. Thumb up. Reach long, squeeze that glute. Stay squared. Three, two, oh my pals. Switch. Here we go. Find the focus. Come on. Like the karate kid. I, not so much. Remember my option? That bird dog I said that was always an option. Where you trying to stay in those toes? Just keep that leg up. Reach long. Focus, focus. Hang on to it. Come on. Eight seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two, hold. Ding, 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 ding. There we go, guys. So that's 30 minutes total. That's 30 minutes, I think. I don't know. Never get that great at math, but hope you enjoyed it. Just something for your abs for today. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully I'll see you soon enough in person. Bye.